the crap they know 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 the crap hello hello to all my wonderful beautiful crafty creators I am Felicia with The Crafting Nook, and today I've been asked to review an epoxy resin, okay? So that's just what I'm going to do. So if you're new here, click that like button, join us. We do lives Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and try to throw a video in between, okay? So this resin, this is the part b it's because it says epoxy hardener this is your part a which is epoxy resin and they were kind enough to send some molds as well everything about this um this set is like general when you're working with epoxy or resin but i did want to pick out um so okay the uh you got the resin one-to-one -one in volume okay but here's what i wanted to point out step four mix hardener and resin mix both parts together for a minimum of three minutes scrape the sides and bottom of the cup as you mix to ensure that resin and hardener are thoroughly mixed important okay when parts are mixed together in a large amount it can generate excessive heat Handle with caution. Do not mix more than a gallon. Um, step five. This is where you remix the hardener and resin. Uh, to ensure fully mixed, pour mixture into a second container, taking care, taking care to scrape the sides and bottom as you mix. Thoroughly mix for an additional three minutes. Do not exceed eight to ten minutes as the epoxy will begin to cure okay now this lets me know that i need to work with this resin really fast all right really fast and if i work with it really fast then everything should come out right um, like i said it's the general um rules to this uh you can pour up to a fourth of an inch okay so uh, we're going to see what it's like. All right. Let's open the molds to check out the molds. Let's see what they're about. All right. They were so kind to send uh, this stuff to me, you know, because they, they ask what I like to do a review. And of course, I'm, I'm always willing to do a review because it gives me a chance to see other molds, uh, resins, or epoxies. So, yeah, I do like to do. Oh, this looks like a little ashtray. Let's see. Excuse me for the paper. But I do want you to see what comes in the kit. So, yeah. Um... It could, yeah, it could be, no, it could be just a, something that you put jewelry and stuff in. I wouldn't particularly say an ashtray, okay, because it doesn't have those little indentions in it. So that is nice. Love that. Love that design. Okay, this must be for a storage box. Maybe a big storage box. Ooh this is the top or it could be a coaster so just hold on i think it's a coaster i think they're all coasters okay get this open all right so sorry for the noise very sorry for the noise okay this is another coaster Wow, it's full of coasters. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yes. It's really nice. And they're big. Another coaster. Nice and thick. 
Okay. Oh, we have a bookmark. Okay. I'm going to sit that to the side. And we have one more. This is very exciting. Oh, this is for like the earrings. <clears throat> if you care to make any earrings. Now, on this, I'd say, give me one second, let me finish opening. Oh, so sorry. Okay, yeah, these are for earrings. You know, you can do earrings. But the only thing that I would say about this is it should have been two earrings for each one instead of just one all the way down, just one. Now that, uh, I would, I would have an issue with, but when one dries and, and cure, you can take it out and do another one. All right, so we're gonna put that to the side because I'm not gonna make that. We'll put bookmark to the side. I really do like this uh, hexagon shape. I do like that, but at the same time, I like this one too because it has that the diamond edge. I think we're gonna do this one. All right. Okay, I am back. So I have my gloves on, okay? And you want to make sure you use your respirator. Why? Because you need to. It. I mean, this stuff, inhaling this stuff is not good for you, okay? But I can hardly breathe when I use my respirator, so I have an air purifier, okay? So make sure do you PPP? Okay. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Do you PPP? Now, today I am going to be using blue calcite dust light crystal, and I'm going to also use some angel light. Those are what I'm going to use. Okay. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and take these lids off because y'all know that well, any of my current subscribers that watch me daily, y'all know that I, <laughs> I, I, I work very, very slow. Okay, very slow. Can't help it, just the way it is. All right. So, <clears throat> get this done real quick. I have three smaller cups on the side, okay? so I can put my colors into. So now I'm gonna first do my hardener, all right? <clears throat> and this this is what I do with all resins. I, I use my hardener first. Uh, that's it's probably incorrect, but as long as it goes one-to-one, -one, I don't think we have a problem, all right? So there is a smell, okay? And I expected this to be very clear. My part B, I expected it to be very clear, but it's it has a brownish tan to it. So I got two ounces for my part B, okay? Just gonna put that to the side. And then I'm gonna do two ounces of my part A, which is my resin, okay? So that's what it is. Pour my two ounces in, okay? There. All right. I'm gonna use my spatula to begin to stir. The directions say stir for three minutes, then take your another cup and place it into that cup, okay? But I'm familiar with epoxy resin, so I'm gonna make sure that it's mixed very well, okay? With no screens and clear. Just gonna make sure all of it blends in nicely, okay? I don't need to have you all for this, but I'd like for you to see um, every step of the video and if you want to fast forward, please feel free to fast forward. It's okay. I don't mind at all 
um, new subscribers. I don't mind you leaving comments. I don't mind you joining the channel. I just want to uh, do this review. And it is getting, it's getting clear, y'all. It is. It's getting very clear. Let me scrape around my sides and stuff and my spatula. See there? I'm just scraping it up. Making sure I include it with everything. And continue to mix. Now, like I said, this, it has a scent to it. But it's not overpowering, okay? You can still, you can still work. But, you know, there is a scent to it. It's not really bad. But it's not what I'm used to. So, y'all know when I do a review, I have to do it and see how I feel about it. And we go from there. Okay? That's what we do. Um, I stirred this rapidly when I should have stirred real slow. Okay? But I didn't. And I'm just making sure that all of my strings are out they're they're almost out okay oh by the way if you want to become a member you can become a member if you want to send a donation you can send a donation everything will be linked in the description okay let's see where we're at now I also have an Amazon wish list that you can check out if you like. It's not a must now. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. That's my four ounces blended. <clears throat> Everything is blended really nicely. Um, I don't think I, I would like to let it sit there, but I don't know this resin, okay? And you're supposed to work a little fast with it. It's not warm, all right? It's not warm. I'm just letting the bubbles kind of escape. Well, that didn't do nothing. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and start breaking this up. I'm gonna do an ounce and a half in each cup. There. Ounce and a half. That'll be 40 milliliters, okay? Keep that in mind. All together we had four ounces total, okay? We're getting there. All right, I gotta scrape my sides and everything off of this one to make sure I can at least try to get a little bit more. Okay, as I said, you can fast forward if you like but those of you that don't know about this brand, okay, you may want to stay and just see how it works. All right. Just stay and see how it works. I have a lot of uh, micro bubbles, but I'm hoping they will start to disappear in a few minutes. Get me three little popsicle sticks, okay? The first one is going to be my dust light crystal, right? Put that one in there. The second one is blue calcite, okay? Both of those are by Mayspring. And the third one will be angel white, which is made by Lorez Expressions. This is a paste, okay? And I'm just going to wipe my spatula, well, my popsicle stick, and just... I think I won't bite that much. 
gonna go for it. Y'all please excuse those chickens. They do like to be on the recordings. <laughs> but this was the Dust Light Crystal by May Spring. May Spring Blue Calcite and Lorez Expressions Angel White. Okay. That's what I used <clears throat> in today's project. So let's see. Now we want to look and see if it's melting into the resin or what is it doing. It's spreading really, really good. So I don't think there's a problem there. Yeah, that's nice. Don't think there's a problem there. So it, it blends well with the mica powder. All right. Blends real nicely with it. I'm not going to say I'm shocked. But I will say that's a good thing. Okay. Next, we're going to do our blue calcite. All right. And it is easily to disperse through the resin. So that's good. Which we saw from the first one really good okay making sure that you get to see you know me blending and going around the sides the bottom wiping the stick off doing it again and there I'm gonna leave it now this is the paste from the res expressions oh paste just melts away in there which is expected okay so this resin cooperates really nice with your adjectives At, yeah it, it, okay there was a little interruption there but this blends really nice and you want to try to get all of the paste from off of your stick because some of it tries to leave, leave behind and you don't want that. So let's get it mixed up into the resin. Mix this nice. I think I'm gonna need six ounces. <laughs> Isn't that something? Oh, all right, let me feel. Not bad, it's not hot. It's not hot at all. So, ooh, what do I want to start with? I'm going to start with doing just a drizzle of this purple. Just like that, maybe. I'm going to take the blue and go in and do the same thing okay just gonna cut across right here i'm gonna take the white and just join in right here I'll go right here join in a little bit okay Go on the other side, join that in. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to add some more of this purple. I think I'm going to try to do the purple, go straight through this white. like that add the blue okay so 
Can I get some more <clears throat> of this purple in here? Because I'm losing it. I don't really want to lose it. Just going to see, can I pour all of it? All right. All the purple is gone. Let's make this blue disappear on right here. All right, this is nice. This is nice. But you know, I'm, I'm gonna need some more. Let's get this white scraped up. Maybe we can add it in little places that I see that it's not quite there. Okay. Just doing a little trace with this white. Is this all of the white? Okay. So now, you know I don't have any more left. That was four ounces. And I'm going to make up another... Um, hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to make up some more. I don't know how much I'm going to make up. Uh, so I have other stuff I need to do. So I'm going to go to two. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one. If it ever opens, it's nice and tight. It's a little bit over the two, my bad. So we're going to go to a little bit over the four because we want it to be equal, okay? It's a one-to-one -one ratio. So we have to have it even. And that's it right there. Awesome sauce. All right. <clears throat> now we're gonna mix this. And here's what I wanna do, because I've already used my color Okay, I'm just going to use this clear to go in and maybe we can get some type of effects or design or something going in there. All right, we're going to get it. And by the way, this is more than a fourth of an inch. Okay, so I'm assuming this is going to get hot real fast. Uh, but I'll have to keep my eye on it just to make sure, you know, everything is okay, which I think it will be. I think it will be. Okay. Just looking to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Um, seems like it needs a little bit more mixture to it and see I see my some bubbles rising there yeah I see bubbles rising so that's a good thing all right I think this is now ready let me hold it up against the light and make sure. Mm. 
Okay. Testing. Yeah, it looks as if it's ready. All right. Now, I was going to use my heat gun, but I used my spray and it helped out. So I'm going to go in here, try to spread some of this out, try to go in different little places just to make this clear. Do a little something. All right. So this is a total of eight ounces, okay? So remember, this coaster here is a total of eight ounces, all right? Very good, very good. So I wanted to use my heat gun so I can make it move and do some other little things. And I'm still gonna use it. I'm still gonna use it. I just have to use it up high. Okay, we're trying to get these bubbles out, these micro bubbles. They're trying, trying to run over too. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with it anymore because it has a little bit that's trying to come out, all right? And we don't really want it to come out. We want it full and flush, but we don't want it to come out, all right? It's just that. And what I'm gonna do is spray my alcohol. It'll be okay. I'm just bringing this all back in. I think that's about all I need to get. Okay. Spray my alcohol. All right. This is like a 360 uh, mist spray. So I always put alcohol in here. Always, always. Um, it looks like it's okay. It looks like it is okay. Really, it does. Now, my thing is, I know it's going to cure fast because the directions said so <laughs> in so many words, okay? So, we know that this is probably going to get hot because it's a little more than a fourth of an inch, okay? And I'm not gonna tell you a story or anything about that because y'all know my regular audience and YouTube subscribers and members, they know that I'm gonna come with the truth, okay? That's just that. I will tell the truth about a company. Um, the only negative thing that I've seen so far is that uh, there is a slight scent to it but it's not overpowering it's not overpowering and uh, i'm curious about that part b being a little yellow instead of being really clear i'm curious about that outside of those two things uh everything is fine for me so far all right so far i will be back to let you know um, how everything else goes. Uh, we will come back and demold together. We can check it out and find out if we have any pinholes or if we got any bubbles. Um, just actually see how it is, okay? So, I'll be back. This is up close, guys. 
I'm sorry I didn't do it uh, at one time, but I only took the camera down and then come to show you what it looks like up close, okay? So, I wanted you to see that. It's a nice color. I like it. Very nice color. And different, okay? So, we'll be back when it's time to demold. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back for the review for this epoxy resin, the hippie crafter, okay? So, first of all, the hardener is yellow, like a yellow tint. It's supposed to be clear. It says clear. Um, I'm thinking that uh, for me to try this and give it a review, um, they probably didn't mind it being tinted, you know, uh, but however, if you're adding any type of colorant to it, the tint of this is not going to matter. Okay. It's just not going to matter. And as I was mixing it together, it did become clear. So that was no big issue at all. All right. So, uh, I want to say about the the molds, the molds they are, you know, nicely made. Um, it's it's pretty average, maybe a little thicker than average, but it is nice. It is nice and shiny. It is easy to remove. Um, this was something that I did off camera, just to um, check it out after I did done this though. And it, it was nice. It was nice. Um, I must say, uh, it this is hard, okay? Um, really nice, all right? Everything blended well with that. No problem. So I'm going to take this one and remove it. But before I remove it, I'm going to let you see up close. Because, you know, on the directions, it tells you you know, you need to work fast. Um, it will heat up really quick, you know. And you see how this is drawn back a little bit right here, right here. That means it got a little too hot, okay. It just got a little too hot. So, therefore, the shrinkage, it'll shrink faster. And, matter of fact, it will cure faster, okay. But that's no problem to me. Sometimes I like for my work to cure a little bit faster as long as it don't uh, mess up the work okay now I did use May Spring blue calcite mica mica powder and I used May Spring dust light crystal mica powder and I also used angel white paste from the res expressions all right and generally all those will melt into resins really good and while I was mixing, it was melting pretty good. But it, you know, once I mix it, mix it, mix it, I don't want to have to sit there and constantly mix. Okay. So what I noticed was there was a little bit of, you see, you see there, the color didn't mix well. But, you know, I mixed very fast and that, that was that. So let's demold this and see what it's like. It is hard. It's not hard to the full um, capacity where it needs to be, but it is very hard. Let's see. Oh, I got a lot of pinholes. A lot. Look at there. A lot of pinholes. I'm not satisfied with that. I'm really not. Um, it should not have been this bad. You see those pinholes in there on the side? Now, I'm giving my honest thoughts and my honest opinions because um, this is a review, okay? So it may not be like this on all, you know, pieces of art, you know? It may be a little different. But I must say, the epoxy resin, it warmed up really quick. And I do have 
so many pinholes, so many pinholes. Um, I'm going to give this another try. Okay, I'm going to give it another try. You know, I always say I'm going to give resins or epoxies another try. I like to do it more than once because, you know, you can't be too sure on the first pour. Now, this one, it turned out nice. Okay, it turned out nice. I didn't, I didn't have that. However, on this one, it is awful. All the pinholes there is awful. Now, there is a little, you can see through it a little bit, little transparency there. That's okay. Uh, don't mind it because, you know, that's how it was on the back. I didn't mind that. Uh, it is hard, like I said, but it's not fully hard. It's not bendable, but you can you can kind of tell if you press a little bit, you can kind of tell, you know, if it's hard as it can be. So, uh, I am not pleased with this. And there was another thing, the, uh, the smell... Okay, the smell, I didn't like the smell so much. Um, however, it wasn't so bad that you just can't take it. It takes your breath away. It wasn't like that. But it was stronger than, you know, what I had expected. But if you're having your respirator on, you shouldn't smell it anyway. Okay, the only reason I don't have a respirator on when I'm using the resin is because I can't breathe. And I use an air purifier, all right? The bubbles, you know, they, they did disappear, but it was some micro bubbles. And I'm assuming that's where these pinholes are from. Um, I just, oh, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm really curious to see about doing another go. Because there's no way. I mean, there's absolutely no way I should have all of those pinholes there. You see? And in the bottom and on the sides, they're just everywhere. Like the measles. They're everywhere. So, um, I'm really not pleased on this go around. However... I'm happy with this one. This one still has a little bit of pinholes, which is no problem. You know, you could put a little layer there and it'll be okay. <clears throat> All right. That's no problem. But on this one, that's just a little too much. Way too much. So they do have other products. I want to tell you about those. They have the acrylic paint set. They have the epoxy hardener and resin. They have clear double-sided tape, epoxy tape, double-sided -side, double -sided woodworking tape, and clear double-sided, oh, I've already said that one. They also have the canvas board and the scratch board, scratch canvas, I suppose, water paper, and sketchbook. So they have a wide variety of things that you can use. I've always wondered about this resin, and now I know, but I am going to give them another chance to see uh, what, it will, what it will do on another pour. That's what I'm going to do. So, this is the end of my review. Um, I feel like if you're reviewing something, you need to have more and do more more than one pour okay because if i judge this off of this one pour here it will be straight up f okay but i always give my resin or epoxy resins extra time for me to learn that resin okay when you learn the resin you can create beautiful items but if you don't know that resin, you don't know how it is, and you're using it for the first time, it's kind of hard to do a review based off that one usage. 
but it has been done. I have reviewed others, you know, off of one usage, but this one, I just, I, it's a no for me for right now, for right now, it's a no, but I am glad that they wanted me to try it out, wanted me to give it a review. Um, I will be doing this again. So make sure that you don't just judge a resin, you know, straight off the first pour because it could be horrible for you. Um, you know, do it more than once, all right? That's all I'm gonna say, do it more than once. But like I said, I am happy that they sent the resin. They wanted me to try it and I did. Uh, I like this, this is fine, but I don't care for this one. Um, and this is this is another coaster type deal here. I did like that, you know, because if you're having something big, you know, you can just, you're fine. It can sweat all down in there, okay? But, like I said, this is the end of this. Uh, and everybody, please be positive. Say something nice to someone or kind to someone. It helps, okay? And I'll be seeing you on the next go-round. All right? Bye for now.